Hello everyone and welcome back to my Enjoy Mechatronics YouTube channel. In this video we're gonna talk about RFID which stands for Radio Frequency Identification. So this RFID reader is using radio frequency to read some information that are stored in this card. So this device consists of two parts the RFID reader and the RFID card or tag which has a micro chip and it comes in different forms like this one so these has the same micro chip once you put it in front of the sensor or the RFID reader it's going to extract all of the information that are stored in this card and it has one kilobyte of memory that you could use for other purposes for example we can store some information about the employees in a company using that one kilobyte of memory in this video we will only use a unique ID so each tag or card has its unique ID that we can read from this reader we're gonna check if it's the right one in such case we will turn the green LED on and if it's wrong we're gonna turn this red LED on and activate the buzzer like a warning so you could use this project for a door lock system instead of turning these LEDs on and off you could use a relay to open up this door lock when the card is the right one we're gonna create this project in the next video first of all we need to know how to hook it up to the Arduino it is called RFID RC522 because we have other models and it has a radio frequency 13.56 MHz so I have this schematic diagram that you could follow to hook up the RFID reader to the Arduino basically it has few pins like the SDA which goes to digital pin number 10 of course we can power it up we have the GND which goes to the GND of the Arduino the VCC is 3.3 volts and not 5 volts make sure to hook it up to the 3.3 volts of the Arduino now you could pause the video and connect the pins of the RFID RC522 reader to the Arduino digital pins number 10, 13 until number 9 and once you do that we can move on to the next step which is getting the UID of the card that we're gonna use first of all you have to install the library using tools then manage libraries then search for MFRC 522 and it is the second one by github community for me it's already installed and I'm using the version 1.4.10 once you hit the install button you will have some examples and the first example that we're gonna use is under file examples then search for the name of the library let's go all the way down and it is this one I highly recommend you to read these to understand more about the module for now we're gonna use this example that is called damp info let's open it up and this sketch will read all of the information that are stored in the card or the tag you don't have to change anything you only have to select the right board from tools then board I've already selected the Arduino Uno make sure to select it and if you have the Nano select the Arduino Nano also select the port of the USB cable then let's hit upload after that we can open up the serial monitor using tools serial monitor now we can take the card or the tag and put it in front of the RFID reader and as you can see we have all of the information about the tag and all of these numbers are the one kilobyte of memory that you could use for other projects for example you could store the information about the employees in a company we are not going to use it for this video we will only use the card UID or unique ID now you could take it so that we can open up the door if we have the right one then let's paste it under a text editor the same thing if you take the card and go back to the serial monitor you're gonna get some other data including the one kilobyte of memory as well as the UID and as you can see it's not the same 
let's copy it and paste it I'm gonna write card so that I can know and this is the UID of the tag now that we know the UID of the card we can modify this sketch to check whether we have the right one or not and let's start by adding the array and initialize it to the UID that we're gonna use like the UID of the tag I'm gonna copy it of course we declare variables on top of the setup function and this is gonna be an array of bytes using byte and let's call it access UID then we open and close the square brackets and enter the size of the array it has four elements equals we open and close the curly braces and paste the UID of the tag don't forget to add the semicolon and let's separate these numbers with a comma and that's how we can create an array under the loop function we are checking if we don't have a card in front of the reader using MFRC 522 which is the name of the object then dot PICC is new card present so this function will return true if we have a card in front of the reader here they are checking if we don't have a card then we need to return otherwise we can move on to the next step which is selecting one of the cards using the function PICC underscore read card serial and once the card is read successfully this function will return true here we are checking if it's false in such case we can return and if it's done successfully it's going to run this line of code which reads the data and display it on the serial monitor using the name of the object dot uid which returns all of the information including the one kilobyte of memory we don't need that we can use the name of the object dot uid then dot uid byte which returns the array of the new card we can use this array so I'm gonna cut it using Ctrl X and get rid of the rest then I'm gonna use an if statement to check if the array that we read equals our array that we have declared on top and it is called access UID in this case we turn on the green LED and if it's not the same using else we can turn on the red LED and the buzzer but the only problem is that we can't check if an array equals another array we have to check each element of the array separately using the square brackets and the index of the element like the first one which has the index 0 if it's equal to the first element of the access UID array using square brackets and 0 and that's not enough we need to check for the other elements using AND then let's copy this and paste it to check for the second element using the index 1 then we add AND again and use CTRL V and change the index to 2 and the fourth element has the index 3 I know it's a little bit long but you could create a separate function that will check for that in such case we will turn the green LED on for a few seconds but before that let's use the serial monitor using serial dot print ln and let's print the message access guaranteed otherwise we will print access denied and before we test this code we have to reset the RFID reader so that we can read the next card or tag here they said PICC underscore HALT A which is the function that is used to reset the RFID reader is automatically called which is not the case because we have changed the line of code that is under this comment to fix that we can add it by calling this PICC underscore HALT A function using the name of the object then dot and the name of the method I will just copy it and paste it and that's pretty much it let's upload this code using the upload button and we've got this error 
because the Arduino IDE don't know the hexadecimal number, we have to add 0x to tell it that these are hexadecimals. Make sure to add 0x before each of these. And let's hit upload again. Now we can open up the serial monitor using tools. Serial monitor. And let's try to put this tag. As you can see, we have access guaranteed. But if I put the card, we have access denied, so it's working. And we can improve the project by adding the buzzer as well as the LEDs. For example, I'm going to use the pins number 2, 3 and 4. And this is the final result. So if you don't know how to hook up LEDs to the Arduino, make sure to watch one of my previous videos. I've talked about Arduino for beginners. Then let's move on to the Arduino IDE. First I'm going to add few variables like the pins using int green pin which is number 2 and another integer let's call it red pin which is connected to the digital pin number 3 and finally the buzzer pin equals 4 and under the setup function we have to use these pins as outputs so that we can turn them on and off using pin mode which takes the pin number like the green pin then output and let's copy this line of code two times and change the first parameter to red pin and finally the buzzer pin now we can go under the if else statement and instead of writing this message or let's leave it like that we're gonna turn the green LED on using the digital write command which takes the green pin and the high keyword to turn it on then we wait a bit for two seconds using delay and pass in 2000 which is two seconds after that we can turn it off using digital write green pin and the low keyword to turn it off but if the access is denied we will turn the red led on for two seconds i'm gonna use the same lines of code also, you could change the time from here, like one second. I think it's fine. And we want to turn the buzzer on as well. Using the same command, we give it the buzzer pin and the high keyword, which outputs 5 volts from the pin to turn the buzzer on. Then we can turn it off using digital write, buzzer pin, and low. And that's pretty much it guys, that's how we can use the RFID technology to make some projects like this. Let's hit upload. So let's give it a try. And there you go, we have the green LED that turns on. But if we put the card... So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to put it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.